All right, that's your boy Reed. I'm back. Hey, YouTube. <clears throat> back with another video. Um, anyway, just cut to the chase right here. This is a good instrument. Um, I keep getting mixed up wanting to call it an oboe. But my boss told me, I heard my boss talking about this a little bit earlier today, and my ear kind of popped up. It was kind of like a radar for me. Because I've never had one of these. And I've had some... <clears throat> we get a few unique instruments over the time. I think we had a French horn. Um, we had a cornet. We've had a couple of cornets that were, you know, was, you know, like a trumpet. Da, 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 but there's more rare instruments. It's always kind of interesting um, to get a hold of. Anyway, this is a bassoon. If I'm understanding it right from the woodwind somebody if you happen to see the store tag it says um, clarinet we know this is not a clarinet but it looks like one similar it's in the woodwind family it looks like a huge clarinet this is actually what it looks like it's a Wiseman DBN 300 and first thing I noticed about it actually I see some fingerprints or something right there on the side of this metal part. I'm wiping that off with the rag. There's a few scratches, you know, on this metal part and probably on the wood as well. But the first thing I noticed about it, like when I when I looked at the case, I was like, man, that's in nice condition. It's a real pretty instrument. Um, there's some scratches right here, right below the model number there. But look how good those pads look. I, I'm not a pad expert. I don't know how to play this. I won't even try it. People ask me about pads a lot of times, obviously on clarinets or flutes or whatever. And I really don't know how to answer. I don't know what this piece is. It's a piece of rubber, it looks like. Um, don't even know if I'll put this together right now while I'm making this video. I kind of doubt it. You can see there's some fingerprints around. But... This is really nice. It, if you, <clears throat> even though if you don't know about instruments like this and stuff, which I don't, I was in band. I played trombone. Nobody had one of these when I was in school. We didn't have a person that played this instrument in our band. But I can tell. I didn't stay in band long, but I can really tell this is a quality made instrument. Just for me, there's a scratch right there. It's weird. It doesn't look like, you know, that almost looks like it was in the wood. It's not, you know how when the finish is missing or whatever, you can just feel the wood underneath it. It's not like that. It still feels like there's finish over top of that, so... I don't know if I think it might have just been made like that. I know that's kind of hard to believe. There's a scratch in that wood right there. Like that, but it, that's what it appears. Okay. So, <clears throat> all of these corks and pads look like, they look brand new to me. Although I can tell that the instruments definitely has been played. Because like I say, there's some fingerprints and stuff on it. But really looks nice, man. Really looks nice right here. I'm sure if you're viewing this, you know more about it than I do. Okay, I noticed a little problem right here, just a slight little problem. That's That one there is not closing up very well. So look at this piece, it was the one all the way in the top. Now these hook looking pieces, so I did notice that if you can see here, that comes open. It's 
It's not closing very well by itself. Watch it. Watch my thumb down here. It opens that, and I would assume that's supposed to close back by itself. It's not doing that. Okay, so that is a potential problem. Um, I want to show you what else is left in here. There's a rag right here. These hooks, whatever parts those are called right there, they go down in underneath that piece that I was just showing. Just left those out for right now. That looks like the part that you wear around your neck, maybe, to connect the instrument to you or hook it. I've seen people with saxophones using those. I'm not sure what that little device is for. I'm going to assume. I'm going to assume those are reeds. That is my name. Reed, R-E-E-D, just like the instrument part. Not sure what that is. There's a little bit of cream or lube or something. There's another piece. I want to show all the pieces. There's a little screwdriver. A little tiny little screwdriver. Um, there's a little brush. And that's about it. So. That's the bassoon. That is the bassoon. It's a Wiseman DBN 300. All right. Just want to make a little video and show it to you.